Hi, my name is Andre, and I'm here to tell you that life can be complicated. It can be filled with things that are good, things that are bad, and a whole spectrum in between. And of course, one of the biggest problems facing our planet today is the fact that Bitwig does not come with a multi-stage envelope generator. But fortunately, there's a workaround using reactor blocks. So, all bullshit aside, I'll show you how to set this up. It's a very simple thing to set up, and it works just fine. You can see it playing on this base patch right now. Alright, so, yeah, um, it's pretty simple to get all this going. You just have to run it through the audio sidechain. You can see I have it through a left-right, so I have one of these going into the left and one of them going into the right on a reactor, so I get two of them. And then, um, yeah, that's it's that's basically it to set it up. It's super simple. And then if you like the results you get, you can uh, run it, you can uh, bounce them to audio, the actual like reactor track, and then just throw these multi-stage envelope generator audio clips into the sampler in the grid and then just not even have reactor open and you can just control them in the grid with the sampler. And then if you want to expand upon that, you can, you know, create a whole library of them and then make a 128 and have like a bank of multi-stage envelope generator presets in your grid patches. And of course, because of the way that modulators work in Bitwig, these can be used to modulate anything in Bitwig and any of your plugins or anything. They're not limited to just being to, to just working within the grid. And the same technique be, can be used to modulate things with not just Reactor, but also VCV rack or um, Euro rack sequencers and stuff, if you have anything like that. So yeah, let's just open up a, a Polygrid and Reactor 6, and let's get this thing going. Okay, so let's put a Polygrid over here, and then... Reactor 6 here. We can do patch or build, doesn't really matter. I'll load patch, and then um, there's a couple different ones we can use. Two of the ones I like are, um, one of them is Kodiak Curve. And so this one works kind of like the stepper in Massive, or like the one in, um, in Spire. So you can see you get these kind of curves, and you can draw them in just like that. But the one I was using on that patch just now was the Toy Box Mod Lane. And this one came out not too long ago from the company Toy Box, which makes really cool uh, blocks, modules. I'm not sure if this one's free or not. I think it might be, or it might be for people who have an account with Toy Box. You can, you can check it out and see for yourself. Uh, let me set this to one bar. And then um, the easiest way to set this up is just to run the play into the play, but I'm going to do it a different way because uh, I noticed that when doing that, sometimes when you first trigger it, the time jumps a little bit because like, it gets stuck on the last value. So I noticed I get a better better result just using an LFO with a ramp to control the time. So uh, first let's duplicate this so we have two of them. And then let's load up a sync LFO. And if you don't have sync LFO, it's available in the user library. I'm not sure if Reactor is including it now, but this is somebody modified the LFO and Bento box to uh, sync to the tempo. So to assign this, let's just run the output into the position on both of them. Hopefully you can see that. Did I get the position on this one? Yeah, I did. Okay. And then let's run the reset from the clock. All right. And then let's, oh yeah, I forgot to run these. We've got to run the output from one into the left channel and the other into the right channel. And now let's put this on a ramp going up and get some sort of a timing that works well for this thing. Uh, let's make sure that we have the track muted because we don't want to hear this. And then we can just figure out whatever timing we want for it. That's a little slow. Let's see. It's a little fast. Whoops. Oh, whoops. I forgot to have this on. That's why it was working weird. This needs 
this button over here needs needs to be pressed. There we go. Okay. All right, cool. So now that's a two bar loop. All right, that's fine. Yeah, we can just leave it with that with a two bar loop. Or we can you can change it to make it however many you want. So that's now going to control the rate instead of these. And then um these can you have these options over here. So this works basically like the LFO in Serum or like the one in Base Plant. You have these things for locking it. And then um you can open it up and change some of these parameters in here too. And then um I think I think I mentioned that the rate now is controlled by here. So anyway, we could just draw in some values all we want. And then add curves to them just like that. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. The whole point is just to demonstrate how this thing works. All right. And then let's set up another one. And then uh, one thing to this is this will put it in bipolar mode but if you do that you have to add 6 db of gain onto it in the grid or else it won't uh it won't go all the way so now let's um so yeah that's it for this and yeah we'll just save this as a preset so you don't need to wire anything up next time and now to get this going in the grid all we have to do is just um go get an audio sidechain and a stereo split and then we could just run the left and right into modulators. Let's first put an oscilloscope so we can see it. Let's grab two of them and put them on slow mode. And then we'll run the input from reactor. And now you can already see the modulation coming in over there. And then um, let's put a couple modulators right here. And so let's just assign these to something. First, well, let, let me open up Reactor, and we'll just make sure that it looks exactly the same. So you can see, yeah, everything looks exactly the same. Uh, we could speed this up a little bit if we want. It doesn't even really matter right now. I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to make it sound like anything. I'm just trying to... Uh, demonstrate how this works. So let's just assign these to something. Oh, first let me show you the thing I was mentioning about bipolar though. So if we set this one to bipolar, notice how it's not going all the way. So you could just go to level, grab a gain, put it right here and put it up by 60 Bs. And then it, if my mouse will click correctly, okay. And now you can see it's gonna go the full way and you see it hits each side. So if you want to use it in bipolar, just do that. All right, so now let's, uh, did I assign these or anything? Here, let's set up something. Let's put a sign, phase modding another sign. Nothing fancy, I just want to uh, get this thing to work. And then did I put a note over here? So let's just play a note and see if it's working. So as you can see, it works fine. So then the next part about this that I mentioned was that you can also record it to audio and then just throw it into a sampler. So I'll show you how to do that now. So, uh, here, which was our reactor track. So let's grab a note onto there, or it doesn't whatever, just any clip, so we can bounce it. So let's just hit bounce, and then yeah, here I'll take this second one because we have it twice. So then all we have to do is just throw that into a sampler in here. So let's uh, grab a sampler from the oscillator section right here. And then we can just drop this clip onto here. And then we'll just replace the audio sidechain with this. 
And so now you can just close the reactor if you don't want if you don't need to tweak this anymore. And then um, let me just run here. I'll run a transport to a modulator. Oh, the re the reason I'm doing that is, I mean, you can obviously play this many ways within the sampler, but I'm just gonna put it on freeze and just modulate the position with with a ramp. So then now, let's. Wait, let's put this back. Okay, so now. Uh, just a second. Why is something? Am I hearing two of something? Oh, that's what happened. We're we're hearing this. You got to make sure to mute that. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. So. You see, it works fine. And then now also you can speed this up or slow it down if you want. See? And the main point is that you can see we have clean lines. It looks just fine. There's no sp weird spikes or glitches or anything. It's working just as it should. And then, yeah, like I said, if you, you know, collect a bunch of these then you can just make a 128 in the sampler in here and you can have all sorts of different multi-stage envelope presets to choose from and then yeah just not even have reactor open in this so anyway hopefully people found this useful and thanks for watching okay bye